So the next thing that I want to talk is about quality assessment. So quality assessment refers to another level of screening of the papers. So first level of screening was inclusion exclusion criteria, where uh, on most occasions you kind of this uh, screen based upon the quality of the publication. So it could be a journal paper published in A star or A ranked journal. That, uh, that could be your inclusion criteria. Uh, a quality assessment goes a step further and it now looks into those papers that we have already selected or included based upon our inclusion and exclusion criteria and then goes into and goes and looks for whether specific aspects of the study help you to answer the research question that you have or not. So in previous examples in the inclusion criteria, we saw some uh, some cases where the actual quality assessment was included as part of the inclusion criteria. But I prefer that the quality assessment should be mentioned separately in your SLR paper and you specifically state what are the different things that you're going to look for uh, from each included paper to further decide whether that is the paper that you will uh, take in your investigation or not. Okay, an assessment of the quality. So this is the example from this paper on um, a systematic literature review on blockchain cybersecurity. Uh, an assessment of the quality of primary studies was made according to the guidance by Kitchenham and Charters. This allowed for an assessment of the relevance of the papers to the research question. So this connection has to be shown very clearly that this paper is included in our study because it relates to, uh, it helps to answer the question. So it, there may be a situation that the paper title and the abstract gives you an impression that this paper is relevant, uh, but when you actually try to find the information from the paper to answer your research question, you cannot get that information. And in that case, you have to exclude that paper, which means you have applied the quality criteria to help you with the further refining. The assessment process was based on the process used by Hosseini et al. Five randomly papers were subjected to the following assessment to check their effectiveness. Here they have mentioned the different stages. So let's see what is in the stage one. So the stage one is the paper must be focused on the use of blockchain or the application of blockchain technology to a specific problem well commented. okay so this is the first level of quality assessment second enough context must be provided for the research objective and findings this will allow for accurate interpretation of results so in the second stage we are looking at the content of the paper to see whether it will help us answer our research questions or not and then this line here tells us that uh, it will allow for accurate interpretation of the research. So that is the justification of why this criteria is essential. There must be enough details in the study to make an accurate presentation for how the technology has been applied to a specific problem, which will assist in answering our research question one and two. Okay, another criteria for quality assessment. The fourth criteria is the paper must provide an explanation for the security problem in an effort to assist answering question three and so on. So I'll not go through all, but basically what you can see is by developing a quality assessment criteria, you are in fact looking or further screening the papers and selecting only those papers that will help you to answer your identified research questions. Okay. so. This was an example for this particular paper. You would need to come up with your own quality assessment criteria uh, that will help you answer your research. Okay. For any research publication to pass the defined selection phase, a comprehensive quality assessment criteria was defined. So you can go a step further and come up with a objective mechanism to decide whether a paper should be included or excluded Yeah, in this stage. What one thing that you can do is you have identified your quality criteria here. Okay. So this was these things. Yeah. Put them in a table and give a score to each criteria. So if whatever the criteria is there, if it is available or it is, if it is covered in that paper, you give it a score of one. If not, give it a score of zero. Each criteria give a scoring of one or zero. And then you decide that in this paper, the authors defined four quality assessment criteria questions to assess the rigorousness and significance of the study. Thus, a research study which accomplished a quality score of four was considered in the final selection. So if any of the papers score less than four, then that paper was not included in the final selection. So basically, all the criteria should be met to help to answer the question. So this is only uh, this is an example or the approach taken by this paper. 
okay it's not uh, not true for everyone you have the option to customize this to your study let's look uh, look at another example this is from a different paper open source adoption factors a systematic literature review so here what they've done is for each article we gave a score from one to five one being the least relevant and five being the most according to our criteria and experience in selecting only those that scored between four to five so here they have taken a different approach so if you read the section here what does it say additional to the quality requirements considered in the previous steps we assessed the quality of the 54 primary sources encountered uh, considering only papers indexed in shimago journal and country rank then for each selected article we gave a score from one to five according to our criteria and experience uh, and any and only those that scored from four to five were assessed and selected so that is another way of a uh, approach that you can use for for quality assessment so this is another paper model based software engineering here what they have done is taken a little bit different approach they have their uh, criteria here they have assigned a weight to a specific each criteria some criteria may be important so they have given a higher weight for example 40 percent 30 percent others are relatively uh, less important and then they have given it a weight of 10 percent each yeah so let's look at one example so the paper is about sdlc that stands for software development life cycle does the paper clearly present the intended objectives the scope of the solution provided and its conclusion answers are yes you get a one score no it's a zero does the paper detail or contextualize any phases of sdlc now here there are multiple scores so here it was one and zero here if there are all the phases are mentioned you get a two only some phases are mentioned you give a one and if none of them are mentioned you give a zero so here there is a variation compared to this or the previous examples now let's look at the 40 percent one does the paper apply model based software engineering and you see it is it has given 40 percent weight here because if you look at the paper this slr is about model based software design and testing yeah so this is probably the most important aspect so if they if the paper does cover model based software engineering they want to give it a very high score so that it gets included does the paper describe automatic source code generation and something something yeah so here again this aspect or this quality criteria is very important for this this kind of a study or this kind of a research on software engineering so they have given a 30 percent so you can also come up with something similar and ensure that you apply the weighing criteria to uh, uh, to do the quality assessment so it's not compulsory uh, and it depends upon what is the uh, practice in your discipline. So if you see good quality papers from top journals in your discipline using this kind of an approach for quality criteria, you can use that. If it is uh, just some simple yes or no, like I showed you in the previous examples, you can use that. So just follow your discipline.